Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently 9pm uh, on Sunday the 17th of April. I'm currently reading Sisterhood of June. I'm watching Death Note 2, the Japanese movie on uh, my computer because I have a Death Note tattoo now. Any excuse to show that off. It's almost healed enough to take some nice photos of it actually. Um, I got a bit of a rash as well from my skin. It's kind of on that, it's it's mostly healed now. I've just got to wait for the next layer of skin to grow over it. And then I'll do some pictures and tag my tattoo artist in it, so that'll be nice. And yeah, I'm gonna finish reading June and then I'm gonna pick up Three Roads and Other Stories by Emma Timpany, which was sent to me by Isabel Kenyon of Flow on the Wall Press. And after I read that, I'm gonna interview the author for my radio show. So that's where we're at. Dane reads. Hello, um, it is. 25 past 9 on Monday the 18th of April. I swear to God, man, every day just blurs into one. They're all the same, aren't they? Um, I did a lot of sleeping yesterday, which I think is good because I think it's helped my infection to heal. It is mostly there now. Um, I only have one more to take, though, and I don't think it's quite there. So I'm a little bit worried that if I don't take more antibiotics, it's just going to get worse again. So that could be a problem. Um, I don't really know what to do about that. I guess I'll try and ring the dentist tomorrow. I've, um, what else have I been doing? I tried to ring my landlord today to get some information about the way that the, uh, the bathroom is plumbed, but I don't know. I, uh, he didn't answer his phone, so I'll try again tomorrow. I'm just taking a sneaky look at where my novel meat is on the Amazon store. About 140,000 sales rank at the moment. I hit a record of, I think 25,000 the other day which put me in like, the, I think it was, it was like the 240th top selling horror novel or something, which was pretty good. Um, but obviously I, I'm gonna try and break the top 100. It'd be nice to have a bestseller at some point. Um, but yeah, I'm pumping all kinds of stuff into it. I'm actually experimenting at the moment with some like universal links. So the idea being, if you go to danecobain.com forward slash meet, or indeed any of my novel, uh, books, so Driven will do it. Uh, no Rest for the Wicked is No Rest. Eyes Like Lighthouses. Is eyes like lighthouses, uh, like fold files is like fold files, Tower Hill Terror. Um, so yeah, you can put those in and it will redirect you from my website to Amazon. You can also just go dankbain.com forward slash Amazon. Um, but the, I used to have forward slash meat and then forward slash meat USA, which would link to the different stores. And I found a service now that kind of allows me to cut out that middleman. I can just use one link and it will send you to the right store based on geolocation. Which is good, because quite often I'm doing stuff like mailing list swaps, and I have no idea where the readers of those e emails or whatever are going to be from. So if I ask them to promote the .co.uk link, and people are visiting from the US, they can't actually buy from Amazon UK, they have to then manually navigate back to the US. So this is all about just making it easier and hopefully optimising for sales and stuff like that. Um, I've got some Facebook ads running. It seems to be doing okay. I mean... Full disclosure here, let's have a look. I was just looking at this. My uh, my my reports from Amazon KDP, so let's have a look. Month to date. So from April the 1st to April the 18th, my total royalties, I have made $3.60 from Amazon.com and £16.31 from Amazon.co.uk. So I'm on course to, I'm basically making about 30 quid a month which is probably about what I spend on advertising, plus there's all my other marketing costs anyway. So it doesn't pay for itself, but um, it's definitely on the up since I've been investing more money into advertising basically. So it's nice to see that it is having an effect and I'm just gonna keep doing it for probably the next couple of years, keep ranking up the ad spend, spending a few hundred pounds each month on advertising and marketing and all of this, the, all the associated costs, blogger outreach, I got a virtual assistant now. Just to see what effect it has on my books, because if it goes up from month to month, then that's good, you know? I had a, a day, April the 11th, I sold three books, which is nice. That's a record for April, apparently. My overall record of the last, oh, it won't let me do it, actually. My la The last year, anyway. Uh, I can't see it. Um, but yeah, just before Christmas, I sold like eight books in one day, and I'm pretty sure that was to Jeremy Fee of booktube fame. He definitely helped anyway. I know he bought a bunch of books. So yes, that's what I'm doing marketing wise. I finished reading Sisterhood of June. It was 3.5 out of 5. I'm now reading Three Roads and Other Stories by Emma Timpany. This is by Postbox Press. 
uh, although it was sent to me or arranged for me by Isabel Kenyon of Fly on the Wall Press, who has sent me some short stories before, and uh, she always has really good taste in the short stories that she reps and the authors she works with. So thank you, Isabel, for that. I am enjoying this. It's probably going to be a week four out of five. Um, review coming soon, and then I'm going to chat to her for my radio show as well. And after that, I think I'm going to read The Royal Book of Oz by Ruth Plumley Tompkinson, or whatever her name is. The lady who took over The Wizard of Oz after L. Frank Baum died. I've also finished editing the radio show for tomorrow, so I just need to wait for that to export, which it's doing now, which is very nice. I did a little bit in the garden. Because the weather's turned now and it's a lot nicer and it's feeling a lot summerier, um, I'm having to water the plants pretty much every day. I... Um, haven't made any progress with the bathroom because everywhere's closed for the bank holiday so i'm going to be ringing people tomorrow i have my cleaner coming tomorrow and it's mad because she came two weeks ago she comes every two weeks and when she came two weeks ago that was when i first started having these problems so anyway she'll be able to clean the bathroom as long as she doesn't flush the toilet run the sink or run the shower because as soon as you do that sewage comes out but i can get her to clean the bathroom and it will be clean i just can't use it I mean, I will be able to, I can use it to, I've got a camping toilet in there basically. Um, and I'll also be able to have showers because I can shower into the bathtub and then slowly drain out the bathtub because you can, basically the, 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 the water in the pipes goes down a bit, but by like, it goes down, it's probably like it, it, it drains about two pints over three hours and then just stops. But it just means basically I could, if I catch everything in the bathtub, I can let two pints out of that bathtub, put the plug back in, and then do it again, and do it again until it drains out. So, But then at least I'll be able to have a shower rather than having baths all the time. Because the problem with having baths all the time is that I'm having to have them in my kitchen, and then water's going all over my fucking kitchen, and we're going to end up getting rot and stuff like that. So it's just a nightmare. But as I say, tomorrow I can ring some of these plumbing companies and just be like, look, you need to come out and figure out how much you're going to charge me to fix this so that we can go ahead and get it fixed. I think the neighbour to the side as well, I think he had uh, people round to look at the fence today, so I'm going to catch up with him about that tomorrow. And I'm also going to ask for recommendations for companies that can do it, because it's not going to hurt if I get some additional quotes and we compare anyway. So yeah, that's where we're at. It's all a bit stressful, but at least my mouth is slightly better. Uh, it still hurts a little bit. It mostly itches. Um, but yeah, and my sleep pattern's fucked, so we'll see whether I sleep tonight, because I have a 9am call tomorrow. And obviously the cleaner coming around, so I might just not sleep. Hello, it is 20 past 11 on Tuesday the 19th of April. I'm sitting here in my uh, dressing gown. I'm currently making um, cinnamon swirls. I say making, it's one of those kits. They're really good. You can, they're vegan, fully vegan, which is nice. And you literally, it comes in like a little tin thing that you un, un, uh, like unscrew, I guess. It pops out and you just cut it up into six slices, put it in the oven, and it's done. So I'll show you those once they come out, because that should only be another five, ten minutes. Um, let's see what happened. Well, I had a 9 a.m. call today that I got up for after like two or three hours sleep, and they didn't show up. So I went back to bed. Then I got up again because the cleaner arrived. So she's cleaned. Um, she had to go up my bathroom. Obviously, the bathroom is a bit, bit fucked still. Um, but yeah, she cleaned all the floors and all the surfaces and everything and gave that a good bleach in, so that's looking a lot better now. Um, I've noticed in the bathroom, the water is actually draining out of the shower now. Um, it's very slow, but I mean, it's not unbearably slow. So I was able, I had a shower earlier, my first shower for like two, three weeks, because I've just been having to have baths in the kitchen, um, in my portable bath. But basically what I did is I stood in the bath and showered into that, and I've just been letting the water out of that slowly. Um, and that seems to be working okay, so I can at least shower like that. Um, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish draining all the water out of that. And then, because basically how it is, right, you've got the shower here, and then a sink here, and then the toilet here. And the water from the sink and the shower goes along and then kind of drops down to where the water level for the toilet is. So when it backs up, it's because the pipes down the back of the toilet are so blocked that that water goes down there and then just sits on the top and then starts to rise back up. Um, so the fact that the water has been draining out of the shower part presumably means that the, the blockage or whatever is at least into the toilet somewhere and the water's passing through. So I'm gonna leave it overnight without running anything and that should let all of that water drain out 
and then theoretically the blockage is just going to be the top part of that pipe section and then I can pour some drain and block down the sink and again it's going to go and go into the toilety part and hopefully unblock it. So I've got three different types of drain and blocker to try and use on that because otherwise I've got to get somebody to literally put a new pipe in which is going to cost thousands. So this is my current plan to see if I can kind of fix it myself. We'll see how that goes. Oh, those things are smelling good. Biggie's back there, just having a sit. I've been reading The Royal Book of Oz by Ruth Plumley Tompkins or Tom Pinson or whatever her name is. Probably like 3.5 out of 5. Um, it's impressive because you can tell it's not L. Frank Baum writing. Um, her voice is different to his to that extent. But it's it doesn't ruin it or anything like that, you know. It's still um, still worth reading and she's kind of captured the whimsy and that sort of thing pretty well. So I am still enjoying reading it. I'm pretty near the end now, to be honest. I'm about to there. Oh, I'm watching a TikTok live of um, Princess X. She's great. Give her a follow. It's like cultured or like like better than other girls. I, I kind of was a bit of a pick me girl, you know. Um, Let me and show. You. I think a lot of girls go through that phase. Like, no, I'm not into vampires. I'm above that. Um, so I didn't necessarily. Um, Give Twilight the do, chance do, that it do, probably do, deserved do. at the age range that I was Here we go. Happy I want to show you what she actually everyone. does. I'm excited about today because I'm going to be hosting a fun Mario themed Edge of Sketch request stream over on TikTok. If you'd like to get in on leaving some early requests, my best recommendation to you is to check out the Discord link in my bio where I have a live stream request channel and you can leave your Nintendo themed requests there. Otherwise, I'll be taking requests completely at random during the stream and I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. How can anybody be that good at Etch-a-Sketch? I think she says she's one of two full-time Etch-a-Sketch artists in the world. I actually kind of want to buy, because she's got this technique as well where she can kind of set the Etch-a-Sketch. Etch so she drills into the back, takes the back off, um, and there's a process she can follow which basically sets the Etch-a-Sketch so that if you shake it, it won't erase it. Um, and then she can ship them out. They're about $85, $90, something like that. So at some point, I'm probably going to get myself an Etch-a-Sketch from her. I might get her to draw Biggie or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, she's currently doing a really cool thing where she's getting gifts from TikTok to try and pay off her student loan from her live streams. And so I keep checking in to see how she's doing. She's doing pretty well. Fair play to her. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to finish reading The Royal Book of Oz. Then I'm probably going to pick up Creed by James Herbert. I have a bunch of Stephen King books coming and a bunch of Sophie Hanna books coming that I've won on eBay. So when those arrive, that'll push my TBR back up. In the meantime, I think I'm on eight currently reading, um, which isn't too bad. But yeah, just waiting for those to arrive. I've got a bunch of cool stuff coming in the post, so. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Let's go and check on this food. Um, I'm wearing my rainbow pants today. I scored these on eBay for like six dollars. That is a dope outfit. And it makes me think of my. Sucks. It makes me think of. Oh, I don't think you can see it, but I have a I have a tie dye hoodie that looks mad. Anyway. So, do I like roller coasters? I live for roller coasters. I worked at an amusement park just so I could ride the roller coasters. So I live for them. I have a banner in my bedroom of all of my pins that I bought when I worked at Cedar Point. Cedar Point is my favorite amusement park on the planet, but it is a dream of mine to tour the world and ride a bunch of the roller coasters in different areas. So um, have I ever done an edge of stop motion video or gif? So I've done a gif of me like, filming my stuff, um, like time lapsing. I've done a lot of that kind of stuff, but I have not done a stop motion. If you'd like to see a really cool stop motion though, I would encourage you to check out Etch Artist at E-T-C-H and then the word artist. He did uh, like frame by frame animation, which was really cool. And uh, you go to Cedar Point every year. Oh, that makes me happy. I miss Cedar Point. I actually haven't gone since I worked there in 2010. So it has been almost 12 years since I last went there. And my goodness, I feel so much older now. <laughs> hey, Nina, nice to see you here in the chat. You want to do a comic strip with etch sketches I, you know, I thought about doing that myself, but even that is like too much work for me. I'm not really into like creating comics myself. It's like, it's a lot of. Hello, bloody hell, I'm getting deja vu. It seems like I've only just done this. Have I even, I might have done this, I don't know. It's, what day is it? It's the 20th, Wednesday the 20th of April. Uh, it's currently five past 10 in the evening. Um, my sleep is weird, so I think I went to bed at like 6 a.m. Um, I need to sleep a little bit better tonight because I'm up at noon tomorrow. A guy's coming over to pick up my old PC because I sold that on eBay. 
Um, what else is new? I've had a couple of my international parcels that I've sent copies of me out to bloggers. That's two of them now where they've arrived all torn to shit. Uh, it only seems to happen internationally. There's something that the US Postal Service does with their parcels that is just ripping into the packaging basically. So now when I send future ones I'm going to have to use a different type of packaging. Um, and in the meantime I'm down like 30 quid from sending two books internationally postage for the books plus the copies of the books themselves and they never arrived so I'm hoping I can somehow get some money back for that because that'd be nice because that's basically how much money I make from books in a month so it's like a month worth of sales just into thin air I mean I spend more than I make on marketing anyway but that's kind of besides the point I don't know what else is new I'm getting loads of, I was thinking about doing, maybe not a video, but like a discussion about this. I've been promoting meat on Facebook, right? And with Facebook you can do targeting, so I'm targeting it to people who like vegan Facebook pages and who commonly interact with vegan Facebook pages. And it turns out, I mean 80% of the people are really nice and they are vegan and they're like, a lot of them are going on to buy the book because they're interested because I say in it, writing this book turned me vegan. But the other 20% are those assholes who just like pages just to troll them. So I get a lot of people being like, eat meat. And it's like, fuck off. But the only reason they're seeing that advert is because they go on vegan Facebook pages specifically to like start leaving trolley comments and stuff. So it's just like, oh, you wouldn't even be seeing this ad if you weren't trolling in the first place. But I had a friend who was asking me about running ads for like LGBTQIA books and I said you're probably going to get the same thing you're going to get homophobes who specifically like organizations like the pink news or whatever specifically to leave homophobic comments um, and then your ads going to go out to those because Facebook thinks it likes those page pages because it's always commenting on them but it's like yeah but they're commenting hate and all that shit on it so anyway that's an interesting one um, but as I say it's still leading to sales of my books and I haven't had any like one star reviews from people yet who were just like fuck you or you're a vegan you're a cunt or whatever but I just lots of horrible comments but I just hide them from the ads so you know it is what it is well I just find that like an interesting little phenomenon there um, and the other thing is I mean I this was literally my first thought was maybe we can market it to vegans I mean obviously I can just market it as a regular horror novel which is probably what I'll do next um, but I thought I'd see how it goes, and it seems to be working all right. So, so there's that. I had an interview earlier with someone called Jana Brown, who I do some coaching with, one of my clients, and she's going to be the next guest on my radio show. So that's filmed now and ready to edit. Um, I am reading Creed by James Herbert. So I finished reading The Royal Book of Oz by Ruth Plumley Tompkinson or whatever her name was. That was like a three point five out of five. It was eight. And yeah, now I'm reading Creed by James Herbert, which is not very good. Um, it's basically about an unlikable paparazzi photographer who starts seeing demons and shit, basically. Um, I'm about 80, 90 pages in, and so far I'm just like... It's one of those where because the guy is so unlikable, I just don't care what happens to him. Like, I'm just not really invested in the story. But hey-ho, I'm going to do some other marketing bits and bobs and, uh, too. Writing-wise, I've finally started writing a short story that is currently titled The Hokey Cokey Killer. Um, for reasons that will become obvious and this is um, for Regina's next anthology so I'm working on that making some progress I pretty much I've got the concept and like the bare bones of the story planned out and it's kind of one of those where I'm just gonna write and see where it takes me um, but it's good to finally be working on that and then afterwards I've got some my, some of my memoirs to update and then my writing wise I'll be back to this novel that I've not done anything of for 18 months Oh, it's weird. It's weird to be a writer who isn't writing. But how I am writing, I'm writing this short story, so I feel slightly better. Get some words down on that. Most of my housework is done. Most of my marketing stuff is done. This is because I haven't been out for like nearly three weeks now, so I've just been sitting here constantly working. And because of that, I've actually made quite a good dent, although my work work, my freelance work, fuck me, there's a lot to do. There's so much to do that people are asking me to do stuff and I'm basically saying I'll do it, but it's going to take a month for me to turn this around for you. Um, but hey-ho, some of the clients are good. I'm prioritising the ones that I enjoy working on, so there is that. I'll have another coaching call. To, well, it's a QA, and a I've got that tomorrow evening, so that'd be nice. Um, other than that, that's about it. I've been putting some drain cleaner down my bathroom sink to try and clear the blockages, so... Um, Actually, the bathroom itself isn't bad at the moment. It's all clean. There's no shit everywhere. But I am still using this portable toilet, this camping toilet. 
Um, and I don't know if I dare use my actual toilet yet. So I can use a shower, I just have to drain it slowly. I'm, as I say, I've put this stuff down, I'm leaving that to work. Um, I've got one more set of that to put down, which I'll put down before I go to bed tonight. And then basically in the morning when I wake up, I'm gonna flush the toilet and see what happens. Hopefully, it just flushes normally. If it just flushes normally, we're okay, we're doing good. If it doesn't just flush normally, we still have the problem, in which case then I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I'm just hoping that this drain cleaner works. Yo, butter bowl. With kale, um, lentils, sun-dried tomatoes, vegan bacon, and hummus. Red onion, caramelized onion hummus. Hello, it's a little bit dark. I could turn my light on, but I can't really be bothered. Uh, it is 25 past 11 on Sunday the 24th of April. Feeling a little bit down at the moment, not gonna lie. Uh, I finished reading Creed by James Herbert. That was a three out of five. There was uh, some, the, the, it was a used copy and somebody had written a spoiler in it, so that was annoying. I'm now reading Moon by James Herbert and I'm very close to the end. This is closer to a 3.5 out of five, so that's good. Yeah, like I say, I'm feeling a bit down, depressed. My sleep's all over the place. I'm kind of anxious as well, and I feel like shit. Um, I went, I went out to the pub on Friday, so that probably didn't help. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna quit drinking again because it's just not worth the effect it has on my mental and physical health. Um, but yeah, I played some songs. That was all right. Um, I haven't really been sleeping properly. Hopefully, got some people coming out to look at my bathroom next week. Um, I've had my tax bill as well, and right, weirdly. I owed no tax and then I filed my tax return and now it's like yeah you owe tax and you're late to pay it but the tax return doesn't even need to be filed until like next January so why am I getting a late fine like I could have just not done my tax return and I wouldn't have it's very confusing I don't know why but yeah so I need to try and pay my tax bill which will hopefully happen when I get paid by some of my clients at the start of the month hopefully we'll be able to pay that off but yeah, I've also got to somehow pay for the fence outside, pay to get the bathroom fixed, and pay because I'm going to get a crown on my root canal soon. On the plus side, I do have a holiday coming up soon, which is good because I really need a holiday. I'm so stressed and I have so much work on. Yeah. Anyway, I don't have too much left to update you on, so that's going to be it for this week. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.